systems throughout the region. Well, after prepping for days, people on the East Coast are now simply hunkering down and hoping for the best. But locally, some here are just starting to gear up to help people. Beverly Taylor joins us now with that part, Hurricane Sandy coverage. Yeah, once Sandy is out of here, there will be a lot to do on the East Coast to help people get back to normal, including getting the power back on and cleaning up. And boy, will there be a lot to clean up. Everything up up here on both sides and down the middle are what we call our air movers. Service master in New Berlin is loading up a semi to take to the East Coast, ready to tackle the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. It'll pack about 300 of these blowers, along with other equipment and four vehicles with vacuuming apparatus. Alan Thompson knows what the 10 to 20 member crew will face. He was sent to the same area last year for Hurricane Irene. It was a new experience for me because it was my first time that I'd gone out on a hurricane job and there was a lot of devastation that I was very, very surprised at how, how badly things were out there. Service Master responds to most major disasters in the country. We Energies responds to many of them as well as part of the voluntary mutual assistance program with utilities throughout the country. 50 WE Energy's contract crews have already left to assist in the restoration efforts. Right now they're staged in a particular area, working with the local uh, municipal and electric utilities in the East Coast, and then they'll be dispatched to areas of need. WE Energy's employees may be sent later if needed, but the utility wants to make sure it has the employees here to restore any outages that may occur as a result of the anticipated high winds. Meanwhile, the service master crew is set to hit the road toward the East Coast at 4 a.m. Tuesday. And when you're dealing with disasters like this, we're talking long hours, right? Mm, 16, 17 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay. That's tough. It's pretty rough on a lot of people. But Thompson says as long as the hours may be, there's nothing like the gratitude you get for helping victims of the storm get back into their homes. Reporting live in the newsroom, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. It's truly a labor of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bev, thank you. Sure. We are making it easy for you to help victims of Hurricane Sandy. Tomorrow, Red Cross volunteers.